Hello everyone. So today I thought I would share a quick haul video on some things that I had picked up recently at um, Officeworks and a couple of other places. So if you're in Australia, uh, you can get most of these things, all of these things from Officeworks or um, I think there was a cheap shop in there as well. So I'm just going to quickly go over and show you what I got. We just needed a few top up bits and pieces and I've got a few projects um, on the go at the moment so I needed a few things for those so I'll show you first of all these are the um, nice big flip open binders we've never really used too many binders in our home school but there's a few um, projects I've got on the go making for the kids which I needed these binders for so I got quite a few these are $3.50 so I got um, some different colored ones so if I need something specific to a child then they can they can pick the color that they want so um, and it's also a good way to store um, notebooking and things like that so I thought I'd grab them they're only $3.50 each this one the purple one I'm going to use for this um, this is a Spanish folder we're learning Spanish so this is um, all the different Spanish activities that I printed out and I will link below where I got this it's from a lady who has a teachers pay teachers stall and my kids are enjoying those printables so that another um, activity folder I'm making up for my my younger children um, I needed some velcro so I got these two clear velcro is really hard to get in Australia from what I can see so if anybody knows where you can get it please let me know in the comments because this was really expensive. The white ones are not so expensive so that's what those are for. I got a battery operated pencil sharpener because sharpening pencils is driving us crazy lately and um, this one was only $10 so I grabbed that one. Some needles, some bigger needles and some felt shapes for my daughter. She's been making some fun things out of felt lately so she so I got those for her. Uh, also we got these are really beautiful and they're only three dollars a pack and I opened one to show you these are crayons but they're just so much nicer than normal my kids don't like using crayons but they love using these so these are really nice and these were from um, these were only three or four dollars a pack and they are from I think King Kong sale maybe um, then I got uh, the these this thing is a pack of stencils which you use the crayons, older style of cheaper crayons on and you put paper over the top and rub them like rubbing plates so these are something I've wanted to get for a while these were $26.94 from a teacher's resource shop near us um, but you can get those online and also these twisty um, crayons which I don't usually buy because I don't like all the plastic but I've got a few emerging writers and I just thought this would be a fun way for them to um, to practice writing and with the colors so that is that kind of stuff then this is the rest of the stuff from office work so I got some ruled notepads I find my kids like them they sit flat on the table so they're really good for writing um, little short stories and even maths things out on and they sit flat my kids don't like books that have the bump in the middle so they like working with this um, also these notebooks which are the same idea they can fold right open um, open flat I have a left-handed kid and he hates the bump in the middle of the books so that's why I bought these ones we do use the other ones sometimes but if I see these cheap enough I grab these as well we got some of the <laughs> excuse me we've got a little hand appearing there um, so this is just grid paper for whatever the kids want to do with it excuse me Zevi please darling so that's that then I thought these looked fun and they were quite cheap in office works they're like um, we've just started doing notebooking so they've got like a little I don't know if you can see that little space at the top for a picture and down the bottom is lines so if they wanted to write a short story or a poem and draw a picture at the top so I thought that was fun and that's sort of just a creative notebooking thing or a way to practice handwriting or creative writing so I got four of those and also got these two colored pads which again I thought they sit flat so they're great for practicing handwriting especially if you've got a left hander 
um, and the colour to make it a bit more fun as well. And Officeworks all also have this, and this was about three dollars, three dollars fifty or something, for a weekly planner. So if you want to make some, um, if you want to stick it up on the wall to remind yourself of things, then I thought I would grab one of them. So not exactly sure what I'm going to use that for yet. So yeah, anyway, that is what I got recently to top up our supplies. I'm always ducking in and grabbing bits and pieces, but um, yeah, so this is the latest haul. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.